Finding the truth and what happened in Green Hell, Spirits of the Amazonia took this game and lore to new heights. From finding talismans scattered over five different maps, to helping different elders in the respective tribes, and being spooked by many big cats. I was shocked by how much content was actually in the game and learned so much more than anticipated between the tribes and what was about to happen. So without further ado, I spent 100 days in Green Hell Amazonia and here's what happened. Dear Mia, I know I should be there with you, but if there is a chance, the Omalu promised that they would help you. I just need to find the Yabawaka. I'm not in any danger. You know they are friendly. The spirits of Amazonia. This is the other part of the story, guys, and I hope you're ready. Huh? We're about to learn something. <gasps> Oh, that's not good. Did I just die already? Oh. Well, that was an introduction. Oh, that's it? I'm just in? Okay. Got some fisties. Find the Masked Elder Tribe. Like in any game that had coconuts, I found my first and named it Wilson. Wilson would become my best friend and journey with us to the ends of the earth. We don't have a map, do we? No. Yeah, we don't have a <gasps> Wilson! Oh, Wilson! Oh, Wilson. Stay with me, buddy. Stay with me. You're gonna make it. Nope. Okay, coconut is forever glitched. A dumb. Walking around new parts of green hell now, I found some fire ants that would leave spots all over my body, making me feel weird as I gave a lot of thought to where I should build a base. From being in awe with the game once more and trying to find a place for the building, we would need many tools and resources to come. Learning the game once more felt like riding a tricycle, building my first bed for the day, and then quickly setting up a place to keep us dry. Oh, what the f Damn it. Venom? Yo, there's a toxic tree? Excuse me? Did I just get... Oh, boy. Oh, that's not good. Small immense venoms are naturally fought off by the body over time. For large doses of venom, it's required to use a bandage with combination of something I don't have. It seemed the path I was on had me building a base first. A place so magnificent with all the new additions from previous updates to the game. Yeah, the mud mixer pottery table? Ooh, 10 six planks, long stick rope. Bamboo log, coconut bowl. At the time, I thought it was smart, but later down the road would I learn that spirits of the Amazonia would teach us otherwise. The next task at hand was gathering all the coconuts I could. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hee <gasps> hee. <laughs> coconut and the stone. Let's go. <gasps> Woo. That's in the water. Wait, there's two of them. Ooh, there was a few of them. Okay, so some of them are going into the water. I have to keep an eye out for that. Later in the day, I had to test something out. Crossing my fingers, they didn't fix the best way to transfer things. And then it just goes on weight. So the more you pick up, the more weight it is. But if I can take these sticks all the way back, we'll just have a bunch of sticks. And then all you do is close inventory. The progress in which I was making with the base was astonishing. So much had been gathered, placed, and built faster than I'd ever done before. And this was literally day two. Find and rescue tribes from the village. Free the spirits of the killed tribe members with burning pyres. Learn the legends painted on the rocks and solve their stories. Destroy Wara camps. And our trust with them is not good right now. Here's what the place looks like, roof and all. Look at that, we did four this time. Oh. Did I kill it? Centipede! Craft. Ooh, I'm not eating. Also, that's going to be so gross in my inventory. With the new morning ahead of us, the next big thing we would work on was only three days into the game. I couldn't believe how fast I was starting on the mud mixer, most of which we needed sticks and logs to fill in the areas. Notably, we did need a few more things for the next mud mixer, but my curiosity got the best of me here. No way was this capybara getting away from me this time. Oh, 
I actually hit it. Oh my, finally. I, I'm sorry. I know you guys don't like that, but I, I needed it. I really needed it. Now we got some meat though. I mean, this is good. This is really good. Having to cook the meat we gathered for our protein intake, I also needed a lot more fires to burn out. Mud mixers needed two things mud from the rivers, and campfire ash to mix it all together. With everything planned, I would need some place to store everything as well. The biggest reason why I did this first, like the little huts kind of thing there, is because, I mean, when you make the fire, sleep and all that, trust me, you'll want it. You want it, you want it, you want it. I could now get jiggy with it and start preparing the fires waiting for the most special resource to be summoned. The biggest reason for mud mixers was exactly this, and perfect timing too. I didn't realize it gave us that much mud. That's actually nice. Look at this. Boom, two storages. <laughs> Love it, okay. The next thing to take care of was a simple stick storage to a log storage. Anything that would allow for me to not be encumbered anymore. As we'd finished the biggest task, things started looking better than ever. Even with some brand new lead armor to cover our entire body. Lead armor goes a long way and it will save your life. As the next day began, I found a neat little trick for clean water. Something I really should have tried in my first playthrough. And about to... Ba -ba -ba. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Looks so good. <laughs> With the sun rising even more so, I found a fantastic purpose for the large planting boxes. More specifically, fruits. Can we... Oh, we can harvest. Can we get seeds from it if we harvest? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Unknown seed looks like it. And then we just got to water this bad boy. All right. As all the fires were burnt down to a crisp, either with charcoal or campfire ash, it was time to fill up her belly. Trying out my little transfer tactic once more, apparently only a few things could actually be moved. Having most of the storages for different resources finally built, there was one recipe I was really shocked to see. You know what that meant? Time to pull a sleigh full of different things. Oh, 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 where? I see it, 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 I see it. Oh my god, oh my god, first snake of the day. You're probably wondering why I didn't start any of the content. And honestly, by this point, I really should have. Instead, I decided to continue on the base for a little bit. Treehouse, anyone? This was perfect because now we had a log slide to pull things to and from as well. What I had planned next took me a few days to consider. The first had me deciding on building out of wood or mud brick. This would warrant a lot of mud to be made and the need for another log sled. Setting up the first few pieces for the foundation, next would have me stocking up on so much more mud brick for days to come. While all was going well, I still needed a few more planting farms set up. I was thinking both bananas and maybe a prickly pear or two. While taking care of a few leeches that latched onto us, I was checking around the area for any more capybaras or maybe a boar. Please don't move. Please don't move. Thank you. Okay. Are you the same one who took my spear? Probably. But yeah, not giving the spear back, are you? Or my other one. That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna borrow something here. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna borrow something. Forever. And ever. And ever. Now I was ready. With all the floors built out of mud, I could start on the next part of this treehouse. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't actually try something first. We gotta try doing the frame. I didn't actually do the frame. Let me see if that works before we do anything else. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, it does work. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Given. Actually, what if we leave this one open? As it went, we needed to figure out the proper placement for the scaffolding. Hey, you can climb with it. Okay, that's actually not too bad, I guess. You know, that's not going to work because we still got to put stuff on there, but it has to go on the outer parts. Okay, so what if we do... Let me try something else then. Now, can we do a roof? Um, oh, no, no, no. You know what? I think we actually can do something like that. Hold on. If we do this and just do the framework. All right, so doing that, can we do it now? Please and thank you. Elevator, oh, we can. I just don't know which way's better. Today, the different fruit trees were fully grown and something to bear witness to. Afterwards, I needed to check up on the treehouse once more. See what else I could add to it or change up. There's an actual snake here this time. Mm -mm. Come on. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that's it? Oh, this thing actually can't hold much. Or, well, no, it, it, again, that is a lot. But I thought I could hold, you know, the entire amount. But I guess not. That's fine. That's okay. Who needs the entire amount? What the fudge? Hello? Oh, we finished with all the sticks. Holy crap. I didn't realize we would. Okay, we just need more rope then. Oh, I didn't think we'd actually finish with all that. We had just enough. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. 
Placing down the last piece to this treehouse, we were one step closer to finishing up the entirety of the base. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like eventually. A bunch of long sticks. Okay, long sticks and wood again. Between chopping down more logs and long sticks, I think I enjoyed myself a little too much with the elevator. By far the greatest invention they could come up with. It was my mission to finish up the base and get everything I could build for this treehouse. I missed out last time, so I had to make sure I got my fix this time. The only thing to do now, though, was connect the ground base to her treehouse. Everything I had planned was finally built and just so much more. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, you know what? For this, I will do some stone. Why not? Now we got a bridge to make. Do, 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 do. I mean, to be fair, we could keep building, but I don't want to keep building right now. Maybe take a little break from it. As our inventory was stocked up on everything from food to arrows, we were ready to explore the game and see what was out there. The content ahead was about to get as real as it could. I'm ready. 12 arrows, a spear. Let's freaking go. Let's do this. I don't want you, Crab or Mr. Crab. Thick fish trap. Oh, yo, there's an angler. Oh, I saw a coconut. I saw that. I saw a coconut, man. I don't need it right now, though. Don't get distracted. Ooh. I feel like we're going to have some sort of water thing going on here. I mean, hold on. I, I, I want to go over there. Please don't bite. Please don't bite. Don't do it. Okay. I mean, okay. You know what? Cave it is. Ooh. Ooh, 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 I just saw that. Mm -mm. Hi. Wounded tribe member? Attempting everything I could, we didn't actually have the right medicine for our friend here. So while leaving the cave and a friend behind, these little events scattered around the map would be of high importance. Oh, people are hung up over here. I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know about this. All right, here we go. What? Oh god, oh god. Where, where, where? You see it? Guys, 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 guys. Woo! See, that shouldn't be allowed. That's death. If I can kill you in one shot with that, I mean, again, headshots should be able to do that, but at the same time, why do they do that? It's like. I mean, thank you. Thank you. You know, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. This would be the day that taught me about how to earn trust and certain things I would either need to help or clear out. I'm giving you send off. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. Kokoronama. Peace for the spirit. Gained 20 trust. Oh, we're gaining the trust. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's been so long since I, like, remember what the beginning was like. Oh, we gained the trust. That's cool. Okay. Funny enough, just a couple of feet from the little fire we had going, a huge Wahara camp was close by. Okay, we got crying people. Oh, he's not dead? Could have sworn you were dead. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, I think he's all dead. I think they're all dead. I think they're all dead. I think they're all dead. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I almost died. I, I panicked. I was just like, you know what? Let's just do this really quickly. Do I let you out? There you go. Woman rescued, gain third. Oh, so these are the tribes that are against us. And we freed you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. From our first talisman and camp cleared up, something the game didn't tell you was what you were supposed to do at each camp. While clearing out the camp was good, you also had to make sure you destroyed the entirety of their base. This would earn you a lot more trust if done so. Next day had me cooking up more meat, having prepared our inventory full of arrows. As clear as day, a bow and arrow would be my best friend. We would have to deal with more tribes and people actually injuring us. Immediately taking care of a gash on our arm because these cuts always made me feel nauseous. Curious to see if we missed anything, I let these tribes people continue on their path and made my way back to where the Wahara camp was. Is it? No, this is the one I broke them out of. And then we read this. Yeah, this. Oh, this is the one. Okay. With a new area coming up, the swamps were about to give me the real creeps. What is even? Ooh. There's something over here? Oh! Yo, there's a big boat over there. Waiting at any moment for a big caiman to jump out of the water and kill us dead. Weirdly enough, that's not exactly what happened. As we searched around the big boat some, between the old chests filled with a bunch of obsidian or bones, the scariest thing about the boat were the kinks and creaks. Oh, oh, I don't like the noises. You know, you really don't need the noise. Where are we going? 
Hello? Reaching the captain's quarters, we finally found what we were looking for. <gasps> oh! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! <laughs> finally! Yo, we have a map finally! Holy crap! Oh my god! Look at that! Taking my time to get off the boat and not break a single bone, we came across another talisman with a legend to be told. Where the three rocks cry. Having the map we found really did help guide us to where I needed to go. I don't want to say if someone's here because then oh, something's here, not someone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, how do I? Yeah, it's fine. Search the boat. All right. Uh, Ooh. Poor Pedro. Pedro's body? Hold to prepare for ritual? Oh! And, oh, yo, we could actually just come in and sleep here. Take care of Captain's body first. Survive. Read? Art of survival? Oh. What? Unlock four starting tools? Cool. I'll do it. I prepared. <laughs> Seeing that more storage was needed because things really started to pack in, that meant we needed more storage in our treehouse. And done, and then a last one and done. Finally, I'm gonna have like some real storage up here. This is so cool, I've never just had a place up here. <laughs> it's really nice, I love it. All right, storage box, I will store feathers for one because apparently getting feathers is super easy and also really nice. The only other thing I did in that treehouse was building a furnace. There's no real purpose for stocking up on charcoal. Did I use any of it in almost a hundred days? No, nope, not really. Early on in the next day, I started with another chest for the fruits we had growing. A nice and quick way of getting fertilizer was bananas. Letting them spoil and bam, you had a great way to make things grow twice as fast. Now we were ready to take out the map and find the next point of interest. Before that though, we did have to take care of some tribespeople. With a great big cave up ahead, the most important thing to do was finding talismans and learning the legend. From swimming through a bit of water and being scared of spiders and snakes 24-7, I didn't expect us to have to do some parkour. Taking another quick dive into some water and coming up for a breath, we had to play it carefully here. Look at that! Ooh. All of the trophies should never burn, never break, and never decay. Oh no, that wouldn't be all. This place was a Wahara camp. A much bigger camp that gave more trust to us, but with a lot more people to deal with. Alright, we found a new cave. Oh, oh, there's a guy out there. Not happening. Nope. Nope. No, sir. I got you. I've got you. There you go. Goodbye. Goodbye forever. Did we do it? This would be one of the quickest days as we needed a refuel here, both with some armadillo armor for the added protection and then enjoying myself atop our treehouse. Oh, hey, look at this. We have more of those. Sweet. Oh, I saw that nut. Give me that nut. I want that nut. Do you remember that other day we found that smaller steamboat? Well, I needed to sacrifice the tribe's member and gain their trust. So you take this and you literally just boom. Rest in peace. We'll see you later in the next life. Oh, man. We finally did it. Oh, that took way too long. All because I picked up a single frog and almost died. Oh, my God. With a quick look into the boat soon after, this is where we needed parts to repair which was damaged. Hello? And it's broken. Great. <sighs> At least they know I'm here. Wherever here is. Search for spare parts to repair the radio. So while the search was on, I made it across a little walkway of stone, finding ourselves in quite the predicament. Whoa. Okay, they hit me again. I didn't even see that guy. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, is it safe? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it just the one? I hope it's just the one. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Sad thing was, I didn't even destroy this camp that we'd cleared out, somehow hoping to find trust elsewhere. As day 30 had me in another cave, trying to find our way out and alive at that, we came across the other side, finding yet another friend I couldn't help because we still didn't have the right bandages needed for the wound. I don't know how to help you, buddy. I wish I did. Oh, looks like we're over here now. 
I'd be in luck though as we found another poor tribes member, setting up the sticks and logs and then burning a fire underneath. Goodbye buddy, we will see you later. And now for the quickest kills of my life. I felt like a real Hawkeye here or some sort of Legolas. Something else I would build in new areas was a bed and a way to save my spot. Having them scattered throughout the lands of Green Hell helped me so much more than I thought. While on the right path, I made sure the snake would never throw shade my way again. Oh, I see you. I see you in there. I see you. I see you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Moments later, I would be the happiest I'd ever been as we found the first elder camp. Should I go in here? Great. The village. Oh. Oh, 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 it is. Okay, it is the village. We are at the village. This is the village. That means we're really close to base. Um, okay, I didn't know I was safe to come in here. Cool. We can literally just like, this is a forever fire. Oh, Elder Mu Muagai. The Elder, thank you for helping me. Oh. Dako will help the village. Oh, okay. Gain the trust. New dialogue. Bye for now. Trust. Whoa. 800 trust. Okay. We need 800 trust. That means we need to unlock more of this map then. Seeing that we were needed to bring those back who were captured to start three separate rituals during my travels, there was about to be so much that needed to be done. That and I really should have started the quest line earlier. So while breaking down Wahara camps and smaller tribe huts for trust to be earned, this was about to be the weirdest thing I would end up doing. Hello? I'm, I'm gonna follow you now. I'm gonna follow you. <laughs> what am I doing? Wait, I think I could trap you. What the f fudge? Yo. Safely carry the kid to the village. Oh my god. Is this a thing? Yo, <laughs> I'm taking a child. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. This can only go one of two ways. Let's not say the second way, because that would be weird. And, oh. Oh. You Ooh, we got the trust. Ah. This wasn't exactly the place I expected to see one, but I killed my very first caiman. Game is all about adventuring forth. Oh, there's a big village over here, huh? Oh, 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 oh. wait a minute. That's the crocodile. That's what I've been afraid of this whole time. Hold on. As the caiman's neck still did the weird thing after death, our map came in handy with this next part, finding another small tribal camp close by. Something I would inevitably spend too much time on was this fire pit. I thought it was some sort of smoker or a place to dry my meat out. With so many talismans placed all over each map, I had my work cut out for me. Thankfully, as long as you explored and just went around the map, it was easier than I thought. Especially with bodies being sacrificed, this one was very close to us and by this point, I was a professional not gathering and cultivating resources as quickly as possible. What I needed a little more practice with was Warhara camps. <laughs> Doing pretty good with this. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Here we go. There you go, there you go. Woo, don't do trust, okay. The map started to fill out quite nicely and so did the talismans. All that was left to do was to set up another bed and save spot for the future raid down the road. This definitely could have gone better. Can I crouch and get the kid? <laughs> You're mine now. Something I wasn't a huge fan of in the game was how easy it was for the kids to clip through caves or mountains. 
I thought my luck could be spent elsewhere as I needed to find the next area. Was there still lots to do on the first map? Sure. I just needed something new to look at. If I find another piece of the map and it doesn't look like, oh, there is something here. Search the out. Oh, oh, oh. this place is massive. Ooh, painkillers, a can of goods. Holy smokes. Organic juice. What is this letter? Paco. Uh, I need to read. The savages are at us at all times. We'll poison them so they don't attack my men. Leave the goods, check whether the traps are okay, and go back to town? What? I'll start looking when they die off. Oh my god. Anything else? Um, oh, 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 we've had a new map? piece of the map. Wonderful. Oh, oh. Uh, what? Hello? Rodrigo, 12 pages. It's funny too, because when you get the map, you're like, wow, this game's actually really big. You get another piece of the map, it was like, wait a minute. And then you get two more, so it's like, hold on, I'm trying to play the game, not get lost forever. I felt a sense of relief knowing that the new maps we collected had locations from the first part of the story, but also left a little dread inside my stomach because I couldn't really remember much. The only thing I really remembered by this point was just where I built my first base in our first playthrough. So now seeing this up front and in person, I wasn't sure if we were supposed to be scared or not. Whoa, you see that? Why is the water green? Oh, that is so weird. Okay, okay, okay. It's bad. It's bad. Don't don't touch the water. Or did we get hit by something? Nope, nope, nope. Definitely the water. Oh my god. I think for a lot of people, myself included, this next part is where I got my butt handed to me. Water was about to be scarce in these locations because it was poison. The only way to do something about that was to clear it out and to not die in the process. That would have to wait as I found my way to the second elder camp. And one close to our base. Ooh, this is nice. I like this. I wonder if we still have to get the cure? I don't think so. Ungaraka. Oh, it's so cool. So this village seems friendly. Ooh, I got an achievement for that. So the thing about that is with the other, like with our other playthrough, the first playthrough I ever did of this game, I did the story where all this stuff was already run down. The tribes took over. They didn't win. So maybe this is us trying to help them. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment Capybara down below. Having a new potted friend in hand, the choice was simple. Build a base in every new location we came across, or decide on keeping things small and using the elder camps to cook in. Of course, I wanted to find my way back home, specifically for water because that would become the hardest thing to manage. What I did find hilarious here is what we came across and more endgame related. Without spoilers, this was something I would come back to in the last weeks of the game. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, oh, we got up, we got up, we got up, we got up. Ooh. What, how do I even... Do I sneak through? I'd say another first for me was learning about what I could actually cook in the pot. Some pretty wild stuff, if you ask me. This is good, but man, oh man, if I had two of these, oh. I mean, even just the one? A hundred hydration. That's insane. With a new kid packed up the next day and slowly dragging him back to camp, we were one step closer to gaining the trust we would need. If that wasn't enough, the notebook showed all that was needed. The biggest ones being those Wahara camps I left standing. Oh! Big camp destroyed. It actually worked. With only 210 trust towards the first village, this was going to take some time. The next best place to visit was another Wahara camp. 320 trust anyone. Though not nearly as fast as I hoped for, things were starting to move. But now it was time for bananas. If you were wondering how much we had, well, take a look at this. I also felt like we finally had the right bandage for our friend. As luck would have it, we didn't just yet. Last but not least, that same kid we lost while being attacked by tribespeople, it was easy enough to just guide the kid back to the camp while chasing him. Though I will say, once night fell, I was a little bit worried here. <laughs> so picking him up is what I did, and taking him to the chief is what I tried. Until I saw it. Fuming as the rage was boiling up inside of me, this day was definitely a write-off. All I saw and thought about was a way for me to protect my base and build some sort of defense. That definitely wasn't the case, but in the moment you could imagine how I felt. It seemed the next couple of days took me by surprise as I searched high and low for more areas we could earn trust in. Where are we? What is this? I gotta place something there? Is that a thing? I gotta place something? Okay. It even got to the point where I tried talking to the elder once more, hoping I had just enough to continue on. I picked up some rations along the way and looked around the map trying to figure out what I'd missed. 
stuck in what seemed to be a swamp territory, I had to watch my feet for any caimans. That and a child who had glitched into the mountainside. I did take out my compass every now and again, following some tribespeople to this cave and looking around for anything out of the norm. This would definitely fit the criteria. There's a bicycle in a tree. Hold on, can I hit that out of there? Guess who had the right ingredients for bandages this time? I got the right one. Cool. See you later, buddy. Bye. Feeling the rage just boil up and come back, no better way than to find another camp and deal with it. With both the map guiding us to our next location and having almost all talisman collected, we were this close to starting the legends and earning a hundred more trucks. Today would be the first legit night that I cleared out any evil spirits bring news of evil spirit to the elder you got it. <laughs> i like how the evil spirit's a bicycle oh that was a hundred holy crap a hundred trust okay where are we with the, the trust right now? Oh, it even shows that it's done. That's so cool. The next day and while searching about, the last talisman we came across would finally guide us towards our next legend. One that promised us to beast. Oh God, okay. What is that? Yo, there's a... Is that a normal alligator? No, no, no. That one's taking more hits. Holy, what the? Yo, calm down. He dead? One more, just in case. Ooh. Albino old to harvest? Uh sure. Was that what I was supposed to kill? I I guess. This should help me gain their trust. Oh, yeah, no way. Holy crap, okay. The only thing to do now was for us to deliver the white pod to the elder at the village. A hundred trust and not 800 yet. <laughs> Look at that though. Everything we give them, it's just like they are as part of this. Taking aim today, I did it. That capybar was mine. I'm not, dude, you're supposed to stop. I thought when you, you, I get close or you get close. When we meet in the middle, one of us stops. Okay, go. I'm going on the other side. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, got you, buddy. So now we were quite encumbered and moving at a snail's pace. With the fresh meat in our inventory and bananas growing in bunches, there was a certain piece of cookery I would need. Oh, are you kidding me? I was supposed to come over. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't know I was supposed to come over here the entire time. Oh, this would have been so nice. This thing lets you pretty much dry meat, what it says. The next morning, we were out and about, looking for another legend that had us traveling back towards the sunken ship. Something I missed inside that big beast, and chat was telling me behind the ship. There was another level to this thing, and one that was far deeper underwater. And there's, oh yeah, yeah, there's other chests I haven't searched for. We got a tapir, skull, tribal arrow. Yeah, oh, excuse me. Oh, shiny. <laughs> shiny, oh. Uh, here we go. Follow the legend to find, wait, to find and restore what was stolen? With some sort of golden object in our backpack now, we needed to continue towards the next location. This would take us back through the swamps, just passing our base and diving into some waters from a few days ago. Oh, come on. I don't know what's gonna happen, but come on. Whoa, no wonder it was stolen. What? I don't okay. get it. The spirits should be pleased now. Spirits have been pleased. All right, we have to talk with the elder or the elder about the altar. And then we're good to go. On day 52, I could now cross off the next legend while returning to the elder up ahead. Not only that, but we would finish up the last legend and start our very first trial. It's first time doing this.
See you later, Caleb. Ooh. Here we go. Wow. You know what's crazy? The FPS here is so good. Oh my god. Like, I in, in the other, like, world, whatever reality, like, it felt a little laggy. Like, there were some parts where it was, like, too much stuff is happening. But here it feels nice. It's smooth. You're, you're really big, aren't you? You feel small. Oh, I want it. What do, what do we do? Uh, here you go. How do I drop sprint? This? Oh, oh, son of a mother. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Why, 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 why? Go away. No, you don't. Oh, my God. It's growing. It's growing. He's growing. <laughs> There's so many. Oh, he's happy. Hello? Ooh, you know what's cool is like, again, some of you have not seen Avatar, but this like reminds me of Avatar. Okay, is there only two, I hope? Yeah, I think there's only two. Oh, big save. Oh, dang. I, oh my God, that was crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, let's go. No, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, no, I won. I wouldn't suck my dog. Oh. Hey, well, well. Uh, so close. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the artifact piece now. The ritual of Muag... Muag... Agi... Agai... I couldn't believe it, but today would mark the day we finally left our base officially, officially, hopefully, and made haste towards the next elder that awaited us. With no idea what challenges we would face next, I was a little excited. New place, new things to find, and new legends of all. Oh, I didn't even see that. There's literal toxic spills here. Collect all toxic waste. All right. <laughs> and so when you collect them, they start to fill in the spots. See, that's starting to make more sense now. I'm sure you could tell by now, but this is how the routine would be in each area. Something that did get old really fast was those darn toxic spills in each riverbed. Again, we didn't have a clean source of water because everything in the vicinity was poisoned. And as much as I needed it too, all we could do was clear out any garbage and cross our fingers, hoping we would finish up the challenge, letting the fire burn out completely for the water to change back. I know I shouldn't have, but I wanted to try it anyways. Wash yourself? Oh god, what did I just do to my body? That doesn't look good. But we don't have leeches, so we're okay. The biggest challenge now was deciding on the map where all the toxic spills happened and getting rid of each individual one. Thankfully, the first we cleaned up was near the elder camp, putting all the plastic together and then starting up another fire. The next location I found wasn't really a problem. Most of the pieces were close by to each other and not in the water. Not until we saw that last piece just staring me dead in the eyes on a little rock formation that would eventually have me go into a rage fit. I did eventually get everything, but after all those attempts, I just needed a place to freshen up and restart. Continuing back into the waterfall, we gathered up all the pieces for the fire and started yet another. The poison would soon be gone. The most important toxic spill we would need to clean up was right outside the other's camp. Lucky for me, I was quick at getting the job done and setting things ablaze. One thing I will say is during nighttime, the rivers did look really good even if it would kill me. Now I was more than ready to take on the next big Wahara camp, playing it sneaky beaky like and shooting down any tribes members we could. Oh, there's a big guy. You see that? There's a really big guy right there. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my God, why does he have like a big mask? I think that's why I was like bouncing off. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tribal axe. 
Even after all that, the water was starting to become a drinkable source. The only thing we would need now was food. The next area that would start to clear itself out of poison was near the elders camp. It seemed to be gone and left a big smile on my face. This was perfect timing too. Ready for more talismans, I found one not too far from that previous Wahara camp. I needed to clear things up again. As fate would have it, the next day a fire would be lit. Nature will heal itself. Time for that special routine of mine, getting some resources and very slowly carrying them over to finish the safe spot. Giving the map a quick once over, I knew the plan was to finish clearing any more poison up. That meant to follow the riverbed and find the bigger sources around. The next area was full of capybaras and with a smaller waterfall giving me those good vibes. Good vibes aside, it was so easy to get myself hurt with these waters, I swear. Like just, ugh. Having to figure out the next heap of trash for this riverbed was easy and without a moment's notice, I had the fire going. Now it was time to let nature do its thing and find some clean water nearby. Oh, well, that could have gone so much worse or worse or worse than I thought. A literal puma coming after me. I guess that's for all the times I ran so fast. Sweet. I mean, it's unsafe, but it's not poisonous. So it's safe enough. Oh, this is like around the base we built before. It's just up over that hill. I'm going here because I believe there was like some sort of fishing anchor place here. But yeah, this is where we built our actual base base in our other playthrough. Oh, this is so cool. And super nostalgia for me too. New map location. Yeah, yes, it's the anchor point. <laughs> One place I knew that would have a talisman was definitely on the stranded island. Just my luck too, a cave. While coming across another random talisman. Oh, whoa. Holy, okay. The one place I never expected to find a toxic pool was this small little area. It was so unknown. There would be one right here, like in the middle of nowhere. Wait, new location. What? what? There's nothing on the map. What did I find? If we return to this place one day. Yes, it will. Uh, oh, look at that. The dance of death. That sounds not good. <laughs> so we got another one for tears. Jungle's gonna take a while and dance to death. I mean, all those are gonna take a while. Having a save point set up with a bed again, this gave me the best reason to sleep off the rest of the night. While we needed to sneak in a few more talismans today, I found another big camp that had me pretty scared. I didn't enjoy those bigger tribes people with protected helmets. So the plan was pretty simple. All right, let's see if we can actually cheat you doodle this. I'm gonna try my best, guys. I'm going to try my best. Whoa, we killed him too. Okay, bow and arrow guy. There's another guy over there who's dead now too. Wait, is there a guy waiting down here for me, though? Hold on. I gotta double check. But look at this guy come. <laughs> New wound effect. When did I get... What? Oh, come on. I forgot. All right. How do we get maggots? Oh, you know how we get maggots? Right here. Hold on. I might have actually just gotten lucky. So go here. Maggots. Maggots are gonna eat that. Oh! No way! I didn't expect to kill him that fast. Holy crap. Okay. I'll take it. This far into the game, so many things started to go against me. This was about to be a beautiful day because I had all that and more for filling my belly and staying hydrated. On top of it being another beautiful day, we found another kid and this one was a rowdy one. This would hopefully be one of the last few places of toxic areas, but all I had to do now was clean up any plastic and prepare myself another quick fire. Today would be the day to set a new fire ablaze and let things marinate with the potential of no more toxic spills. Of course, that wouldn't be the case because as we continued down the river, look at that, another spillage happening. So as I picked up everything and begun another fire, this had to be it. There's no reason not to. It may take a while, but this place will Burn be Burn 10 again. toxic waste piles. Oh, I think that's all of them? Or maybe. If there was one thing to stock up on too, it was blue mushrooms. These things saved lives. All the while being teased with a bunch of meat in the elders camp, I was curious to see if I could make it to another spot on the map. Well, I, I don't I don't think I can get up there. Can we like call a rope? Nope. Okay. <laughs> call a taxi, call a rope. With day 68 here, I was about to be in some trouble. The map wasn't giving the best directions I needed and found myself somewhere else. Is there something moving there? Oh my god, yeah, 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 big cat, big cat, big cat. Oh, okay. mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. 
No, don't do it. Don't do it. What? Oh my god. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing big boy things. Okay, you need to stop. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I really don't know if I'm gonna make it. HP is going down. My temperature is still so bad. Thankfully, we didn't die and ended up taking the camp down. Are you ready to be hit with another site of nostalgia? I know I was. I think actually this is different too. This is where we'd go down and find the gold for the other place. Holy crap. Oh, legend as well. You look cool. death in the eyes. Leave a sacrifice three times after the sunset the best part about all this was the progress we were finally making as you could probably tell things weren't looking so good and i'd never been this close to death to, oh no 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 i went the uh wrong way the uh really wrong way oh my god Damn it. i'm gonna die i'm only gonna die oh we're so close to the bed too it's just over there oh my god as a first timer, I had to actually sleep in the dirt and I wasn't looking forward to those worms. Okay, we got maggots we gotta put on. I got bit by a s that's a worm, never mind. We got bit by a snake, right? Um how many worms? For the majority of the day too, I struggled to keep my energy up and it forced us into another sleep with some worms. With everything happening to us from the worms on our limbs to a high fever, by the grace of green hell gods, I had made my way back to the elders camp and we finally had meat cooking. As we continued to heal, bandage, and find ways to restore our body, what I really needed was maggots. Dead skin was about to play a big part in the next few days. I was even out of bandages and this led me to getting desperate. Not once did I really need a torch, but I after making this first one, it would help us get some red ants. These little guys played a vital role and acted as free stitches. With energy still being drained that same day, I found a few more plants to help finally bandage up the last few cuts. Finally feeling like death wasn't right around the corner, the best I could think of doing next was searching for more flowers on the ground. That same night, we also had meat that was spoiling and turned into maggot. Finding the holy grail, that's exactly what I started doing next. Grabbing as much meat as I could and then setting it on the ground. One half would become spoiled for maggots in case we needed it. This last little portion of me was out and looking to finish up the legend. With what time we had, it was all about the talismans. Something else that felt so surreal by this point was all the water finally cleared of any toxic spills. Swimming as freely as I wanted to. Deciding if I should have returned back to my base, I chose to continue on and find any missing talismans in the next location. No way. <gasps> that might be it! <laughs> this is it, I think. Oh. Is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it is. Way in the mist. Build a ritual drum in the village. Oh my gosh. This is going to be interesting. We were so close to getting another hunter trust finishing up this next legend. The only thing was I needed baby tapirs. There was some sort of leather that specifically came from their offspring and only happened at nighttime. It was really weird. Right there, right there. I see it, I see it, I see it. Sort of, I sort of see it. Oh, 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 doing that at nighttime, not a fan, not a fan. Oh my god. Oh, you're making me lose my mind here. Oh, oh, oh. This might be it, this might be it, this might be it. This looks different. Oh my god, look, 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 it's a baby to appear. Oh, this is it. <laughs> oh my god, I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it. I found it. <gasps> Never mind, holy crap, look how many baby tapirs are here. You see this? Are you seeing this? Hopogami to Taka Bloom. No one has seen the protector? Ah, uh, but the ritual will work. Thank you. Oh my god. What, what happened? The next legend I was looking into had me doing loop de loops while looking for a specific cave. Unsure if I was even gonna find the thing or not. Is there a cave here? I have actually never been to this cave. This is new. <laughs> okay. 
Hello, this is a new cave for me. Or wait, no, there's something over here. <laughs> oh my god, how's that? Like, honestly, I, I swear. I'm no, that's just weird. But like, this is oh, let this be the first offering. This is oh, so weird. All right, let's come back tomorrow. Good thing I got a bed. <laughs> So understanding the legend now, it was clear to me. The next three days, we would gather tortoise meat and place it on the pedestal, summoning this big bad called the Hakra and taking proof back to camp. I do want to say for this next day, this, this part here that I recorded, I actually was recording, but hit a button that turned on my webcam where the cap was off. So all you see is this black screen. Sorry about that. It's not the full thing. It's just like a black corner screen. Hopefully it's not too bad. All right, let's do the last meat. And then we have to wait until one more full day. And this should do it. Tomorrow, I'll face the beast. At first, I tried everything and anything possible. I didn't learn until later that this specific legend had to be during nighttime. So while waiting around for another nightfall to come, it was time we gave another trial a go while waiting for the beast. This next trial had me diving into some waters and anything that could go wrong did go wrong. Are there piranhas in this water? Oh my god. Jeez. The gashes. Oh. So as we found the next object, I was so close to what seemed impossible many days ago. Now back at the elder camp and with proof being that much closer with the trust. This is what I was talking about. Summoning the beast Hakra and being able to slay it so easily. Oh, there's something like dark. Oh my god, did I just one tap it? No way! Are you kidding me? Here we go! What is that? That looks like arrow. No, that would be arrow. What is that? Is that a spear? Bow bird. Bow burnum. <laughs> Ta da! Right? I think. Uh, oh my god, yeah! Great. Oh, and that's an axe? That. Oh, then that has to be a mouse. Okay. What if, did it work? I hope that worked. Did it work? And let's see. No way that worked. That was the easiest one too. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. Ready to move on to the next part of the map. And one of the last few elder camps, we came in contact with this little boy. If only I could grab that rope. Oh, yo, hua, ni uh, Should I have to convince him? Uh, a Fletcher, Bohanane Fletcher. <laughs> it worked. And we just follow the yellow brick road. This was amazing because we finally started making real progress again across all maps. This being the third and with new tasks for the camp. Thinking about setting up a quick bed and place to save, I must have been the luckiest guy around. Ooh, what is this? Oh my god, we found the airstrip! No way. Get out of here. Holy crap, we actually found the airstrip. Search the airport for something useful. You got it. Look for bed. Hold on, I'm looking for a bed. <laughs> I'm looking for a bed. Now it was time to find this next elder camp. Uncover some legends and become the mushroom overlord. Oh, hey, we found the maps. Oh my god. Holy crap. Okay, look, 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 look. Oh, that's where we are right now. Yeah, so we came from there. We went down to here. This is... Okay, that's where we are. Oh my god, there's too many maps. So this whole thing there. So without even thinking, I just made ways to the next part of the map over finding any talisman. <gasps> is that a village? Oh my god. Oh, there's a village. There's a village. Oh my god, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been looking for this for so long. Oh my god, where are we? So, okay, the village is the X. Oh, we go all the way around then. Okay, I mean, that makes sense now. Okay. Oh, the kid disappeared. Hey, it's the Habuaka. 
This is the first thing we were supposed to get to so long ago. Habuaka Village. Look at this. This is massive. Habuaka. We got the Ingarika Muagai Habuaka. So we got to gain trust. Alrighty. Really contemplating if I wanted to completely rebuild any of the totems, I figured I'd leave it for now. Work my way up the food chain with some different talismans. For some weird reason, I actually found it fun to find different pieces to the map when it came to talismans. Having to rebuild the totems was actually a lot easier than I first thought. On top of that, certain fishermen would actually have different requirements to help them out. Hello, sir. What do you have? Larva required? Or pronged bamboo spear? Two of them? And larva. How do you get larva? All right, here's one. All right, and you just need mega. It's a new morning here. It felt like the right time to clear out another Wahara camp. My bow and arrow skills at the ready and to be tested. This is where the totems started coming together. Not every single one of them needed skulls and other materials were pretty simple to get. Speaking of which. Here you go, buddy. Finally, we did it. Oh, this is taking forever. This last one is just taking way too long. Here's where things would get fun, let's say. Finishing up the list of talismans. See, <laughs> look at that. There is something. They drove him away to and the way, find away. the warrior's weapon. To the anaconda's lair. Yeah. I don't like that. I feel like I'm supposed to jump into here because this guy is only half the body, so I'm going for it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, wait, is that something? There's something in the middle here. Hold on. Oh, it's the other half of the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, we got something. Recreate the warrior's weapon. Aztec weapon. Oh, can I make two of those? The amount we had collected was actually amazing. Oh, we haven't done finished the guardian thing yet. Okay, we did this. Ah, uh, the amulets. We got to destroy the amulets. Okay. One last place I needed to check was a little cave just outside the camp. I mean, we found this. It's a story about the monkey guardians. The monkey guardians? Can we get one more stone, please? Pretty please? With a cherry on top? Come on. Go on. <laughs> Dang it. Learning that there were these monkey statues everywhere, I was afraid of what I was getting myself into. With that in mind, I did find some very yeah, curious great. thing. A bunch of photos with locations and a piece of paper that had a list. This was about to lead me to something odd, but not forgotten. The next day, I actually managed to finish up the second last legend, most of which had me shooting down these blue crystals. What I learned the next few days was how much I actually missed what the next piece of the map offered. There was lots to still do and with not much time left. Without a moment's notice and having just one more legend to fill, I did it. Or so I thought I did. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Come on. Oh, I... <laughs> I'm so happy. But here we go. This is what we needed, the fishing bait. Fish bait. All right. Catch Gasala using the trap so now i think we just wait we just waited out for that yeah oh my god look it's here the gasalala fish <laughs> yeah you couldn't resist my tasty bait huh <laughs> yeah you couldn't all right this is it we're headed back to finish the last part of yabuwaka's like quest line the the trust earning the trust all the quests oh I can tell you right now, I didn't hesitate at all, and I just ran for it, okay? I gunned for that elder's camp. But hey, let us enjoy this moment. Hello. I got the fish. The people look happy. I don't think he'll listen, but at least I got the token. Oh, um. Hmm, no idea what we're doing now. <laughs> the bubbles are saviors. Holy crap. Oh my god. That won't eat me, right? Oh, okay, we need to find. This was so much easier than I thought. Honestly. Ooh. Look at that. We got it. We got it. We got all three. Look at it. Ah, 
The last one. The last thing I searched for was a way to cross over. Being back in the swamplands, there had to be either a grapple point or some other means of travel. I just have to, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, oh my God, nostalgia. The tents are right there. <laughs> Wait, if the tents are already set up, They've been here for a longer time than we thought then. Because we, in the other game, originally thought they set it up for us just then. But if that's not the case, search the tent for something useful. That better be another map, I swear. <laughs> better be. Ooh, spooky music. Okay. Calm down. Got another piece of... Oh my god. I've never seen this in the game before. Oh my god, there's so much more. Why is there so much more? <laughs> With a brand new day here and closer than ever to the end of the game and 100 days, we met those who spoke about the snake pass. Oh, 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 Fletcher, Fletcher. Uh, hey, uh, Chief Queenie. He's beyond the snake's pass? Uh, uh, Go away, find the snake's pass? Uh, pass, not pass. The oh. chief was supposed to be here. The snake uh, pass. Oh, you know what? This is where I was trying to go in the beginning of the game. I was like, why did, Why is there like a bridge over there? Like, what? where does that go to? Because in the beginning of the game on this map, it was a snake pass. I really didn't think I'd ever get another chance to go back to base, but here we were. To be fair, I mean, it's been like 60 days since, <laughs> since we last came. So we'll see if things are still here. Let's see if the meat's good. Oh, it's definitely not good. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's... I mean, that would make sense. Ta-da! Hello? This is Jake Higgins. Do you copy? Jake Higgins! This is Jake Higgins. Do you copy? Higgins, what took you so long? Where is Pedro? He was supposed to report on arrival. Pedro... We were attacked, and he was shot with an arrow. Hmm. Will he make it? He... He's dead. I see. Well, what about you? Can you continue? I think so. Yes. I mean... I have to. Okay, Roger. I'll prepare a plan to get you out. It may take a while. So, let me know when you find the mushrooms. Copy. Can you tell me if Mia's feeling alright? Higgins, you know what state she's in and why you're out there. Focus. Over and out. Okay, let's focus on the Yabawaka. Other than the many trips of nostalgia, we finally found it. The Snake Pass. A place we actually visited from the beginning. Ooh, it's already spooky in here. I saved it, right? Oh my god. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, found the Snake Pass. <laughs> Literally. This is what I was trying to find in the beginning. I was like, how do I get over there? It looks like I could, right? Like, there was something about it. It was time to see what all the fuss rock. was about. Oh, okay. I was just about to say, why not, am I not getting anything? Here we go. If I just push it. Let's go. Here's the snake's pass. Oi! Finally. Find Chief Kuini. This is what we've been building up to. I didn't, like, when I checked a lot of, like, Reddit comments or st stuff like that, a lot of people just said there wasn't any type of real content in the game. Of course, those were years ago. But look at this, snakes fast. Ah, that is so cool. I'm so terrified because I don't want to fall. If I fall, I'm dead. Kung Fu Panda moment. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait. But Choya de Nagua. All the trials. Report from the boat. Oh, come on, what? No idea what he means. Find Chief Kuini. Report from the boat. I gotta go back to the boat now. This is Jake Higgins. Do you copy? This is Jake Higgins. Do you copy? Jake. It's me. Mia? It's so good to hear you. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Look, we don't have much time. Tell me how I can help. The tribe still doesn't trust me and blocks access to the chief. How did you manage to find him so fast? I'm a woman. They did not see me as a threat. But you have to prove yourself. But how? I mean... Do you know what Amala Mocha could mean? I think Mocha must mean moon. You have to find the Amala. Um, a moon cave? Does that make any sense? Uh, this could be it. Thank you. And when will somebody come for me? Listen, I don't trust these people. 
They think they didn't employ Pedro legally, and they are up to something. If anything happens, you'll manage on your own, right? Uh, sure. Don't worry about me. I'll call when I find the mushrooms. Please, be careful. Holy crap, how- what? What is happening? Wait, is there something on the other side? Or is that just like on the boat? No, that's hooked on the boat, okay. Uh, oh! I was right! Or, well, not me, but like people were right. Resin is needed. It's like a glue. Yep, okay. Weird as much. No cutscene, just black. And the boat's fixed! Woo! Alright. Find the sacred moon caves. Find Chief Kuni. The whole point of the story and getting to where I was now, turning each totem piece we collected from every elder into a solid. This was it. Cutscene! I mean, it looks like that is the mold. Mold E to open. So do I, I just take it now? <gasps> oh, look at this. Golden token. It's sun from under the ground. Sun from under the ground. As we had all three pieces finally completed, this would allow us to travel back to that last camp standing in the snake path. Why is he not letting me? Oh, there's a totem. I got up. There Finally, we go. Meet Chief Kawini. Thank you, buddy. Oh my God. Here we go. Chief Kawini. I don't. Oh God. I wonder if you could like just get past all that. Unless you have to actually do it to activate certain cutscenes or something. But. Hello? Is someone there? Whoa. Look at this. Oh my God. Or not? It, my turn. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh! Oh my god. I don't know if that was real or part... Well, I, I was about to drink, so I don't think it is. I mean, I don't think it's part of this ritual. Okay. 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 Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, you just got I'm I'm using dodge mechanics right now, guys. Like I'm getting OP with it. Look at this. It's cold, baby. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm dying. I'm dying. I don't like this. Where, 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 where? Oh, 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 oh. I don't like it. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just stay focused, just stay focused. Okay, come on. Nope, you gotta dodge them, hit them. Okay. Oh, dodge. Yes! No, no, no. Yeah, I think I actually... Whoa, God. Take this way. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Run, 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 run. Over here. I'm trying, me. I'm trying. Oh my God. Oh, I'm getting gooseies. Yo. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. You got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. Come on, man. You made it this far. Don't you dare give up. Oh. oh. It looks like it's going through all of our, like, past receipts of stuff we've done. No, someone's bringing us? What is this? Who is this? How is this?
Hello? Oh, I'm still high. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Yo, look at us. Mm, what? Mm, what? Mm. What is going on? Yo, this is really nice. So somehow gather the healing mushroom. Alrighty. I like how we still never did the one thing we got. <laughs> healing. Ooh, unknown mushroom. So small. Just Return to the boat. Here, hidden from the world. Guys! Uh, yes. This will help me save Mia. And the Omalu will revolutionize medicine. <laughs> oh. On the very last day here. Being able to look day 100 in the eyes, I never thought I'd get here. Green Hell, Spirits of the Amazonia, was twice as big and with so much lore than you could imagine. A quick breakdown, you played as Higgins, jumping from each elder camp to earn their trust while undergoing trials and then finding Chief Kuini for that special mushroom. So with that said, I just have to say thank you for watching this. Thank you for hopefully enjoying it. And I just can't thank you guys enough or just the support in general. It absolutely means the world to me. You guys have been here forever now and I'll never stop thanking you guys. I just, I won't. It's been a journey and a half. It really has. And it's still going, which is insane. And I am forever grateful. I really am. I love you guys so much with everything I have. If you enjoyed this, you know what to do. And let's continue to the end of the game. It's Jake. Mia, do you copy? I'm here. Do you have it? Yes, I have the mushrooms. They're wonderful. 